Okay, I'm going to be doing this uh, video broadcast on this uh, Isaiah 50, 10 through 11. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let the one who walks in dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. But now all of you who light fires and provide yourselves with flaming torches, go walk in the light of your own fires and in the and then the torches you have set ablaze, this is what you will receive from my hand. You will lie down in torment. And it says, let the one who walks in dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. Yet in verse 11, it condemns those who make their own fire and uh, provide yourselves with flaming torches and walk in the light of your fires and the torches you have set ablaze. There is only one true light. Uh, in John 8:12. We see Jesus said, uh, when Jesus again uh, spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. Then we see, uh, yet to rely on one's own flaming torches is to provide light for our lives outside of the light of Christ. Uh, and it says in Romans 3, 21 through 23, But now, apart from the law, a righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentiles, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There are many in our days and times before, uh, before us who have failed to trust the only true source of light, our own good works, cannot lead us to peace with God. Our own wisdom and cunning are not enough either, after all, for it says, Proverbs twenty-eight twenty-six. Those who trust themselves are fools, but whoever, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Proverbs fourteen twelve. There is a way that appears right, but in the end, it leads to death. And then we got Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, the truth is we cannot provide flaming torches to give us light we need. Our attempts to do good or be moral enough to receive justification before God are just not going to benefit us. To trust our own insight to get us through life will also fail us. The gospel is that Jesus Christ came to be the light we need and provide the only salvation for us, the forgiveness of sins, and the peace with God. We should trust him and surrender our lives to follow him by faith, and this will lead us to be to where we need to be both in this life and in eternity to come. God bless.